Hey, it's Ivan here. I wanted to show you how to use this success path template. In case you didn't know, this is something that Stu McLaren teaches in Tribe, which is a course on how to create subscription membership sites that you can create recurring income. And one of the steps for creating a membership is to create a success path. A success path is simply the point of where people are starting at the beginning of their journey and where you're going to take them throughout the journey of the membership. Now, there's specific steps like the stage, which is where people are at, the characteristics, what defines who they are, where they're at, and so on. And then the solutions. Now, the solution is what I chose the name. In his case, he actually taught it to be like something like action steps. So, uh, but because the solutions here is obviously specific steps, but also uh, ongoing support, I chose to do it in this fashion, my success path. Now, I want to show you a few things. Um, on the different elements, you can see what the elements are and you can tweak things as you wish. For example, you could see this right here, this um, orange bar, it's actually just a bar that I created by going to elements. And you could see this one right here. If you click on square, you will see the different options and this is the one that I use. So if you don't wanna have that there, you can simply delete it, okay? And then obviously the text will disappear. So you'll need to customize it and change it to a different color, okay? now. If you wanted to change the font of everything, for example, you can hover over the entire thing and click here. Now you'll see that Poppins is my font. So you can change it. Let's say your, your font, for example, is, I, I don't know, Anonymous Pro. You will click on that and you will see it will change the font of everything, okay? Now let's just say that you want to change the colors, then you can actually hover over it again and change the colors like this to make it red and it will change the red color okay so that's something you can do as well another thing you can do is you can see the colors of this so you can go and change the the color so you can make this blue and you can see it changed it and then you can change the color let's say you want to make it this color and you'll make it this way so that's another thing you can do you can actually change that also you can change this color if you wish and you simply click here and change the color and so on uh, the other thing is this one is a line, okay, an arrow. If you want to make the arrow a little bit different, you can click right here and change the arrow. You can also change um, this particular, so it's a different type of an arrow. And also you can make it the length. You can see it can make it smaller or thinner or whatever, okay? Uh, this is something that is also, again, I just chose it from the elements. So you can go to elements and change it around. If you want to change it, that's totally fine. The last thing I'll show you is on the text. You can obviously customize it as you see fit. And here you could see here there's bullets, here there isn't. If you want to get rid of the bullets, you simply click here on list, click it once, it will make it numbers, and then you click it again, and then there'll be nothing and so on, okay? The last thing you could do also for the page, you can actually animate the entire page if you want to make it kind of sexier looking. You can do something like that, or you could do something like that, or like that, and so on, okay? So that's just another way to kind of make it. Um, now, let's just say I choose Rise like that. This is something that will be cool if you're doing a full presentation, actually. And what you can do also, if you want to download it as a GIF or a video, you can also upload it that way. But this is something that's optional, but I leave it up to you if you want to do it that way or not. If you have any questions, let me know, obviously, the way I set up is that these are the action steps that people need to do as part of their membership, whereas this is the ongoing support. So for example, in my case, in my membership, it's the ongoing under 24 hours support where you can email my support help desk and that get your tech and business strategy related questions answered throughout your journey and get answers right away or under 24 hours. In your case, it might be, for example, your weekly calls or monthly calls for your membership to do Q and A with your members and so on. Whereas these steps is more like the core content of your membership and how the steps that they need to take to go from their current stage of whatever the, the situation they're currently in all the way to the desired state of where they want to be, which is what your membership delivers, the transformation. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I always welcome your questions. You can send me an email to contact at .com or uh, message me on Messenger. I always welcome communications. That's about it. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon.